Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on the Wreath Network on Try Hack Me. Today we're going to take a look at Task 7, Pivoting. What is pivoting? Pivoting is the art of using access obtained over one machine to exploit another machine deeper in the network. It is one of the most essential aspects of network, pen or network penetration testing and is one of the three main teaching points for this room. This is actually something that if you're taking your OSCP, I think it's taught in the OSCP course, if I remember correctly, um, and it's something that, well, it might be a little bit of um, a brain bender for getting started. It's definitely something that you will want to know, as it's just, it's a fantastic skill to have in your arsenal and something you will use um, somewhat irregularly. It depends on what you're pen testing, uh, but again, it's something that you do need to have. Put simply, by using one of the techniques described in the following tasks, or others, it becomes possible for an attacker to gain initial access to a remote network and use it to access other machines in the network that would otherwise not be accessible. So here you can see where we have our attacker machine here that is attacking this uh, target network here. So we have the network itself with a public facing uh, server in this case, and that server has access externally as well as to the internal network. So if we compromise this, we can tunnel our traffic through it to gain access to the internal network, which likely has more data that we actually care about. In this diagram, there are four machines on the target network, one public facing server with three machines that are not exposed to the internet. By accessing the public server, we can then pivot to attack the remaining three targets. Uh, note this is not this is an example diagram and is not representative of the wreath network. Uh, the wreath network is much more simple and it's just so that we can demonstrate and learn this uh, pivoting in practice. This section will contain a lot of theory for pivoting for both Linux and Windows compromised targets, which we will then put into practice against the next machine in the network. Remember though, you have a sandbox environment available to you with a compromised machine in the Wreath network. After the exploitation tasks coming up, you'll also know about the next machine in the network. Feel free to use these boxes to play around with uh, the tools as you go through that task, but be aware that some techniques may be stopped by the firewalls involved which we will look at mitigating later in the network. So we can go ahead and mark this as complete since we've had that introduction. And in the next video, we will go over task eight, the high level overview. Until then, uh, I will see you guys in the next video, but until that point in time, happy hacking.